In this video, I will show you how to use data management service. So with this service, we can access to the database directly in the browser and perform some changes there, some management in the database without any extra tool or using a desktop application. So in this case, I already have an instance here of a database. This database is using PostgreSQL and we have two ways to log on. We can perform a log on to the database here with this button. And we need to choose the database region and set the credentials. Or another option is to go to the instance. We have the general information here of this specific database and click here on logon to database. So now after logon, we can see data management service. This is an excellent portal to perform many different actions over the database. So in this case, we have an empty database actually. So if we go to public, the default, this default schema, um, if we go to public here, well, we can see we, we don't have any table. So let's open this schema with double click. Perfect. And now we don't have any table here, here in the list, but we have an option to create a new table here. So let's click on this one and let's create a new, that a new table, for example, task. Okay. Owner. Let's select database, uh, PG database owner, column info. We can create all the columns for this, that for this table. So let's start with task ID. And in tile, let's choose a uh, serial. Perfect. And default value one. Let's set this as, as a primary key. Okay. And let's create now, let's add now title. This is a bar chart. Perfect. Uh, no null. And let's create, let's add a new one. Uh, description. The saying, let's use bar chart. Uh, this could be null, it doesn't matter, and let's keep all the options like this. Okay, perfect. So we already have our database here, our table uh, for this database. So let's click on modify and save. Okay, so now um, this service is creating our the query that we need in order to create this table. So let's execute the query. Okay. This is an uh, error related to uh, the default value that we add for task ID. In this case, because this is the primary key, let's remove that default value and try again. Let's try again. And now we have an error related to, okay, because I am not, I, I don't have this role, so let's Go back to basic info and select the user that I'm using right now. We can modify once again and let's see. Perfect. So now we have a new table. Okay, this table is running right now, and also we have the possibility to create to app data. So this is a form that we can use in order to edit the table. So let's create a new query over task. And we, we can perform an insert. So let's insert, insert into task. And values. Let's insert one, two could be, um, that's one. Uh, in the description, this is a new class. And we complete this query with a semicolon at the end. Let's execute this query. 
the where it was the execution was successful. So now we can perform a select task. So let's execute a query over task. And here we go. We have the possibility to see the data here. We have option, for example, this result, we can export this result to Excel, text, CSV, or uh, create an insert SQL query with this data that we have here. So we have many options in this uh, data manage, management service. So in this video, we, uh, we are only checking the basic uh, functionalities, but this is how this service works, and this is how we can perform a management over the database using this uh, using the browser using the service data data management service in Alibaba Cloud.